What up guys and welcome to Diversion. My name is Charlie and before I talk about the Racket Fury giveaway and go into some of the gameplay, I first want to say I'm so thankful for all the followers of this channel. I'm so thankful for each and every single one of you and it means so much to me that you guys love the content that I am currently putting out. I love and I have a passion for VR and I love sharing it with you guys. So again, thank you so much for subbing and taking the time and taking a diversion from reality with me. Alright, so today we'll be checking out Racket Fury by Pixel Edge Games and I will be also giving away two free copies of this game one week from now, which will be February 1st of 2020. All you have to do is to get in the drawing is subscribe to this channel and enter in the comments below that you'd like to be placed in the drawing. That's it. If you are one of the unfortunate ones that are watching this video too late, uh, you can always stay tuned and consider subscribing to this channel because I'll also be giving away other keys down the road, so stay on top of it and consider subscribing. Now, if you're a fan of table tennis, Racket Fury would be the great game to add to your Oculus Quest lineup. Whether you play alone or with friends, this game is highly addictive and a close to realistic feel to the real game. So one of the main things I love about this game is that you can play it anywhere. No need to have a designated space in your home to place an actual ping pong table. Just power on your quest and play it from almost any room in your home. The game comes complete with a campaign mode that challenges you against 10 different opponents in four different cups in full simulation mode or arcade mode. I'm not going to lie, this game is not easy to play and requires skill and practice to get to the top and beat the AI opponents. But rest assured, the game does offer practice mode to help hone in on those skills. In addition to the campaign mode, you can also play with friends and other table tennis fans in multiplayer mode, which I personally think is the best way to play the game. So the game is simple to play and loads of fun. Let's jump into the game and experience it for ourselves. Like always, let's take a diversion from reality and check this game out. What up guys, here we are in Racket Fury. I'm inside the game here. And as you can see, this is my guy. Uh, you can pick your avatar, change him up if you want. Right here, that's uh, what I look like right now. Um, some things right off the bat. Uh, everybody has their own angle that they like to hold their uh, paddle here. The nice thing is you can change the distance of your paddle angle. So depending on in my hands, you can see it spins. So kind of like where you want to hold it. I personally am more like the 60 range. So you can change the course your different sceneries or where you want to play. Uh, for me, let's, uh, let's pick this one right here. Let that load up quick. Alright, this looks pretty nice. Looks like we're kind of at a mall. Alright, so you have two modes when you play this game. You can either play simulation in the physics, which is more like real life ping pong. And I've played it on this game and I'm not very good in real life playing ping pong, so simulation mode <laughs> does become a little frustrating playing against the AI because they beat me every time. But you also have arcade mode, which will be a little easier on you. And for me personally, I think it's a lot more fun to play. And that's, you know, through this whole uh, video that I'm going to do, I will be playing in arcade mode just to show you. So let's start in the practice mode. Do that here. So before you start, you can pick uh, the AI you're going to play against. Um, and this time we're going to play against Zenjet. But you do have a couple of things here. You got the pull the trigger. That's how you can uh, bring your ball out to be able to use it and hit the ball. Um, as you can see, I mean, the responsiveness of this game is spot on. Let's see if I can bounce the ball. I mean, it's, it feels almost like the real thing. It's so good. All right. Let's, first you got the uh, options here before you want to play. If everything looks good, then you start playing. Otherwise, if the, you know, the table looks too low, looks too high, too far away from you, whatever works for your play space, you just press and hold the left grip button here, and then you'll pop up a menu here that gets you the different arrows. The top left one gives you the directional arrow. You just point to the direction of it, click the actual joystick down, and that's where this option lets you to pick exactly where you want to put the table. We'll put it there, top right, that's where you can pick the height of the table that makes sense for you. Right there would work perfect for me. And then the last one here, you can also do the angle at which you want the table to be. And then the D is for default. So, let's go back. So let's play against this guy, give you a little practice rounds that you guys see in practice mode. And then maybe I'll try one of the actual game modes against one of the guys uh, for a championship and see how I do. And then... Uh, that will complete kind of the overview of this game. Um, but 
I can already tell you guys this is a fun game to play, at least for me, especially in arcade mode, because it makes you feel that much better. At least it's got skill. So, I missed the table. Here we go. We go over. It, as you can see, the responsiveness of my paddle, the ball, is pretty much like one to one. And the fact that the speed at which it has to figure out where the sensors are and your controllers and hit the ball is amazing to me that you get a wireless headset like the Quest that can handle this. And it does a phenomenal job. Oh, just trying to lay this smack down on that one. It didn't work. So you can actually do spins on this one as, as well, which I'm not the best at, but let's see if I can do it right here. We do a little, so if you do a little top spin, you'll be able to angle it, and then it actually has kind of an animation that you'll be able to see when you do the spin. All right, so that's a little bit of practice mode. You just go back and forth, practice as much as you want with guy, want with this guy, and hone in on your skills, become better, learn some spins, moves like that. Um, but yeah. So, so there's practice mode. Let's jump in to try one of the championship matches and see if I can actually beat the AI here. All right, so we'll do a championship mode here. We got Rusty Challenge. It's the first one. So defeat your opponent in two sets. Do not lose more than 10 points. All together, three stars. So we'll play against Zenjet, the same guy I was practicing against. See if we can beat him. Welcome back, everyone. So the atmosphere is really kicking off here in the arena. I expect a very intense performance today. All right. So I believe it's my serve. Let's serve it up. You guys are rooting on, rooting for me on this one. Oh, there we go. One point. Oh, I shouldn't have hit that, but I did over the table. We're good. Oh, you missed the table. So I'm surprised it still counted that, even though I missed. I should be hitting the ball. So I believe I'm not sure. I'm not a table tennis expert, but I thought. You know, if they miss the table and I hit it, I miss the table and it's, you know, their point, but uh, is it my serve again? Mine? All right, yes, sir, here we go. Here we go. I believe I just need 10 points to win. Here we go, here we go. One more point and I win. Oh, I almost got me. There we go. So like I said, total, there's 16 different challenges you have. You got the Rusty Challenge, Plastic Attack, Gold Clash, and the Curb and Fury. Each one has four rounds, four different opponents that you need to beat. I've already beat the first one. Second one, we're going to play against the third guy here, which is Noxie. We'll see how well we compete against him. You need to get all 12 stars. So I got three on that guy, three on that guy. Get three on this guy, and then as well as the other guy, and then you move on to the next challenge. So, I've already beat him. You guys saw that video. Beat the second guy. We'll Both try this back. guy, and then I really uh, can't wait for the next we'll see how I do. Both players are now in place, so we're just about good to go. Come on, Noxie. You ready? You ready? Okay. It's coming. Comes the heat. Oh! So you missed the table. So that's my point. Oh, I'm getting lucky with these guys. I keep missing the table. I managed to keep hit. Oh, good one. You deserve that one. Make sure I'm still on the green screen here. Right. 
Oh. Not doing too bad, not doing too bad. What? No, you're the one. Why are you coming at me? Next rally begins. Here we go. Ooh. This is for the lead. Yeah, if you want to. I guess I'm in arcade mode. If you want to make it more challenging, turn it into simulation mode and play against set. Let's jump right into the second one that one. But put it on simulation mode. Uh, I hit it over the table so much it's so hard to get the right um, power in your paddle to get it over, but it's a lot more one-to-one -one if I were to be in real play with this. But you can do all the practicing you need to be able to play in that way and challenge yourself even more. What happened there? How do you get that one? I'm not sure. Are we still going? Just said I won. Alright, we'll just keep going here. Oh. When it comes to spinning there. Yeah, that didn't even count. You already won. Uh-oh. Let's do it. I'm gonna pick up there. <laughs> Surprised they let us keep played with that. I got the point on that. Come on. Oops. That was a good hit, but missed the tail, man. Come on, you at least can get one point on the board. He's getting frustrated. Alright, last point. Oh! <laughs> uh, I did that on purpose. Alright, what's happening now? Don't get excited. I'm getting this one. It was an outstanding show with a big dose of emotion. All right guys, so thanks for watching some of the gameplay of Racket Fury on the Oculus Quest. If you are a fan of table tennis, I really think you're gonna enjoy this game. It's a super addictive and easy alternative to the real game. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, please take a second, hit that subscribe button. Let me know how much you guys appreciate the content that I'm putting out. Well, that's it for this one, but stay tuned because I have plenty more VR gameplay videos coming out weekly. See you guys.